Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Gary Martin and today joining us around mid handicap golfer Tahid who said he's going to beat me in a 7 all vlog <laughs> where we're playing stroke play. Right, so okay. you get seven shots. So you want to make my life even more difficult, oh, yeah? Oh, your life's going to be very difficult okay. today. We're going to start getting some wins on this channel. I'm going to start playing the formats that are going to help me. All right, okay. So we're going to get seven shots. I'm playing off scratch. I'm using my new irons, which we're going to talk about. All right, okay. There's some big change. I might even get you to actually try one because you okay. are a mid handicap golfer now. We've got to remember this. Okay. And these are more sort of mid handicap to low handicap. So there's something that I could use. I'll try. Or Tahid could use. I'll try. Right, there's only one thing you're getting today, and yeah. that's the honour. I'll let you tee off first. Otherwise, I'm at disadvantage, yeah? Stroke play, every single stroke counts, eh? Handicap's a handicap. It's just a different format to heed. All right, You've okay. You've got to be able to play every format. Right, let's see. Whoa, chill out. Why do you always play well against me? <laughs> Look at that. That's banging. That's the... actually your best drive on here. Yeah. It's bank. You usually go a little bit right, don't you? Yeah, but today's a stroke play. I can't afford to go right yeah. into the trees. It's drawing in. Yeah, it is. A little bit high out the face. Fine. But we're in play and we've got a chance to get into the green in two. Yes. So 264, downhill, downwind. I've got high, but I'm going to give myself a chance to get into the green. You know, I've I wouldn't be in a, an iron here for safety because I have actually got a chance to get to the green. So I'm going to just try and aim at that bunker. That's it. Just sit down a little bit. Pulled it a little bit left of where I wanted. But I'm still going to have a pitch onto the green and at least. I had a chance to get in there. Yes, I was there last time. It's, uh, middle of the green is 240. So if I play with the four hybrid, this is going to give me 190. It's downhill, wind from the back. Yeah. I think I'll play that. So... It's not your best. No, it's not because the lie wasn't great. But... Bit heavy, but you're going to have a short shot onto the green. Yeah, I'll chip on that. Don't forget your divot. Yeah, I had to dig it in a bit. Took a big bounce off that down slope. I think the Ooh. process were right, but the execution weren't great. Oh, it's, it's going to be on the green, I think, but. Goodness me. Goodness me. Well, I've still not hit my irons yet. <laughs> All right, okay. I've still not hit my new irons. Spun up a bit. Yeah, that's the. Uh, it got kind of plugged in. Oh, that's a little bit weak as well. Remember, we have had some rain these last few days. Right, okay. Well, I'm telling you that, and I did the same. These are what the big boys hold. Okay. And I'm a big boy. Wow. I'm a big boy. Wow. Are you going to beat that? <laughs> is, is, that not, a, is that a new putter now? We're not taking it easy on him anymore. Oh dear. Right, okay. Ooh, no, it's okay. Fine. There's no gimmies in this game. I'm no, afraid. not at all. Stroke play. Everything has to be dropped in. Well done. Net par. Right, okay. Net par for both of us. So 193 yards, this is my first ever shot with the Ping I-230 iron. Seriously, I didn't even use the irons on the first three holes. Right, okay. My first opportunity to use... Which one are they? My new irons, the I-230. Right, okay. Pings. Pings. Ping. <laughs> okay. Don't be laughing, guys. These ones, <laughs> I don't think will end up for sale because... Right, okay. I've had Ping before. Probably going to jinx myself here, but I, feel, I felt dead comfortable with him in the fitting. I felt really at home looking down when it doesn't look too dissimilar to an eye blade, just a little bit thicker leading edge. Okay. Are oh. they still blades? No, they're more of a mid-size iron, a little bit 
They're a good looking mid size iron. Okay. Oh, a little bit left. Yeah. A little bit left. I'm not expecting miracles tonight, Seed, I'm going to be but, honest. But it's good distance. But you've got to get out here and try them, haven't you? Yep. Great shot to heed. Come on. That yes. is a big shot in a medal. It's okay, it's on the edge of the green. Stop, stop. Brilliant. Ooh. Fantastic. It's the right style of shot, but it's just going to roll out. Oh no. We've just moved to his ball. There's a bit of ground under repair there, so he doesn't have to put through that. We're actually studying it, so. Great touch. Stop, stop. You've got to be very careful with them. Finish it off, because we are playing stroke play. Yeah, still. We've said no gimmies tonight. Yep. Yeah. Good four, net three. Net three, yep. Yeah. We may as well put out, aren't we? There we are, good part. Lovely chip. Thank you. Please. Yeah. So you'll see on the trees, guys, we've got numbers one, two, and three for anybody that pulls the ball to the left to make it easier to find your ball. The number three run out is 250 yards. So if you're hitting drive off this tee, you need to be right at that. I try and aim in between the number three and the trees here. So just fractionally right at this path. And yeah. you've got quite a bit of room to fade it if you're Yep. If you want to try and cut a little bit off this, this hole, let's see if we can do that. Oh, you went over the tree. Little bit of a fade. I've took a little bit more than I would have liked off. It's going to be okay, but I might catch the bunker. Okay. Great drive, well done. Excellent. Yep. We need to have a little bit of a chat with Tahid soon as well about a new series, I think. Okay. He's playing mid handicap golf now quite consistently, but I feel like he's plateauing a little bit. Well done, great shot. Yeah, I let it fade a bit. So what's needed. your what's your official handicap now? Fifteen point nine. Fifteen point nine. So how many strokes do you really get when you're playing like Bradley and places like this? What do you mean by that? Well, you've got your handicap, then you're yeah, playing I, handicap. Yeah, I, I get sixteen. You get sixteen, 16. shots. Yeah. But I feel as though you've got you've played off this sort of handicap now for six months, possibly twelve months. Just about more than six months, the uh, same handicap. And you told me off camera you thrive under challenges. Yes, because I haven't had any challenge for the last six seven months, so it, it, it came to a plateau. We're, we're gonna. Have I to think have a talk I started playing a little better. Uh, but not um, not brilliant. Let's go find my ball. We'll have a okay. chat. So I've actually finished short of the bunker. I've got about 250 yards uphill into a wind, so I can't really get to the green realistically. So I'm going to get a not, not even with pity board or something. Into a wind uphill. Right. Okay. You know, it's a big a big shot. There's a lot of bunkers around the green. You only have to be slightly offline. Okay. And, you know, Sweet. so it's a big I'm going to hit the four iron. I'm going to keep it short of this sort of front bunker. Yeah. I ask you to learn for myself, really, more yeah. than anything else. I love that like, top line. All right. It's a little bit thicker than the eye blades. It gives me that bit more confidence. I'm going to strike it solid. Oh. It's very solid. That's Not a just nice solid. ball flat as well. Yes. And that one of the worries I had with this, I was thinking to myself, is this club going to balloon up a little bit more, you know, because it's a bit more of a cavity. But this was a very nice trajectory. But that was a lovely trajectory. trajectory I've been really yeah. happy with that ball yes. flight. Yes, it's showing 130. Flight. Back off uh, the green, 148. And I'll play with this one. No, it wasn't a very clean strike. 
Oh, it's over the bunkers at least. Yeah, I don't think it dropped in the bunker. No, no, it's definitely over at least. That's yeah. one positive. So it's 90 yards up into the wind. I'd usually hit a 50 degree here, but I'm actually going to hit the I-230 pitching wedge to right, see what okay. it feels like closer to the green. Okay. I'm just going to grip a little bit lower on it to reduce the swing and the speed. Just play a three quarter shot. Oh, that felt lovely. Very nice to me. and clean shot. Yeah, brilliant. That's impressive. It's very close to the pin. Do you know what I like about that is the ball flight. Is it? It's very yeah. piercing and yeah. you know it looks like it's it's strong flighter but still spinny. Yes, right. Felt nice. It dropped and stopped. Oh, it's not too bad. This is there for four. Okay. You're not only playing sort of good 18 handicap golf, you've got a, a chance of a par on every hole, haven't you? Yeah, I missed so it there's twice. There's potential, so far. there's potential. I mean, this series, probably need to probably get a bit of advice from subscribers, really. But That's right. I think I needed that because it always makes difference when people watch. Yeah. And they suggest something it always worked in the past. What sort of series should we do? I mean, like, what's not, we don't want to be, I mean, we do want to be ambitious because I think the challenge, you re, you rise to a challenge. <laughs> but let's not get silly. We don't want to say, Rather you know, than calling it a challenge, uh, I play better when I'm pushed. Let's yeah. play that way. But we don't want to be like, you know, 60 days to make Tahid a scratch goal. For that's a bit too, too much. Even for Tahid <laughs> and me. Don't you start. Is single figures possible? Oh, Ooh. no. I felt I got No that. turn whatsoever, Gary, for you. That's a par. You've got this for, a, well, to, to get one lower net for a net par. No, net birdie. Sorry, I didn't sorry. follow the process, so sorry. Oh, he's left it short. No, I didn't hit enough. We keep I think you're forgetting a little bit. It's rained, it's uphill. Yeah. Net par. Net par again. So 362 yard par four, cross bunkers round about 265 yards. So I'm hitting four and off the tee. I'm going to lay up and try and leave a short iron in. I'm not sure if he might be able to just hit a driver on here, I'm not sure, but I'm aiming right at the left edge of that bunker, so from where we are now, it looks more like right off the fairway. Let's try and play that same ball flat as he did on the last, just grip a tad lower. Yep, absolutely straight. That one. Great drive. I couldn't that's, see it. That's a beauty to heat. Is it? Yeah. Just keep your eye on the middle of the fairway. All right. You've I, shaped that lovely. I didn't see it at all. So, what I have noticed to heat is after that four iron shot, which were well struck, I'm not as far up as what I would have been with the Mizuno irons. Yeah, it was a little, uh, quite a bit of a height. It was a little bit higher. Hi. Yeah, but, it was a little bit higher. But the Mizuno iron would have definitely been further up. But yeah. I was moaning about them being too powerful, so I can't have it both no. ways. No, you know, you they're can't. not going to go as far, these irons, because if one of the things Ping don't talk about, I'm going to just mention this before I set the shot, yeah. and they need to talk about it a little bit more, is they offer three different loft, loft options. Right. They offer traditional lofts. So people like myself who's played golf a long time, and we don't want these power lofted irons. We want the traditional ball flight. Right, okay. We don't want these huge gaps between irons. We want the, the distance gapping to be tighter together. Yeah. Then they order normal lofts which right. are normally, you know, what we would class as normal. And we would have to check these lofts. I'll pull them up on screen. Yeah. And then they offer power lofts. So power lofts could be for somebody that doesn't have much distance gap between irons. Ladies and seniors who swing slower. Yeah. You know, I think this is a fantastic service that they don't talk about. That's brilliant for the audience. But for me, you are speaking French. <laughs> <laughs> so I've actually got six iron because with 175 yards, I reckon with the... Uh, Mizuna would have been eating a seven iron here. Right, okay. So I'm eating one more, but that was my choice. I wanted that traditional ball flight and not quite as much power off the clubs. Look yep. at that. You can't complain about uh, no. height and this and this. They're lovely. 
It's certainly a softer ball flight. So the seventh hole, par four, 374 yards. We've got this bunker on the left hand side, 220 yards to carry. So hitting a four and I'm gonna to have to aim right. I'm gonna aim at the telegraph pole here on the right. And then with the bounce, it's gonna come, hopefully come round the back of the bunkers. Well, that's the plan. Oh, it's a little bit left. That wasn't the plan. Mm, nope. A bit hooky, I've hit that out of the toe, I felt it. Okay. What I forgot to mention there, as I was describing the hole, is that the run out is about 250 to heed. Okay. So what you don't want to do if you're hitting driver is be right at that telegraph pole, otherwise you could end up on the practice ground and out of bounds. Okay. Wow. Wow. You've just shown me how to do it there, haven't you? Oh, oh, hit the lip of the it's bunker the and stayed in. That was absolutely, yeah. that was your best drive. It was the best drive. That's it hit the, lucky. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well out. Good shot. Very sensible. You took sand wedge there, didn't you? Yeah, and uh, got about 60 yard, perfect. We said off camera, if you can get within sort of 30, 40 yards of green, you've got yeah. a chance for up and down. Chip and pop, Three yeah, medicine. up and down. Don't risk hitting the lip with an eight or a seven, trying to get to the green. 136 yards downhill, I've got 54, which usually lands about 120. So I'm gonna need a nice bounce forward. I'm gonna have to make some birdies. I'm gonna have to make some birdies, I think. This would be a good time to start. Another two holes left. Oh, stay there, stay there. Let's bounce straight. And look it. Oh, it's in the bunker. Back against the door. Pretty firm, so we need to get down into this. Not too bad. Ah, tap it in. You know what, I think we need a new challenge for you. <laughs> this is too easy, this 16 <laughs> handicap golf. Oh yeah. Another net part. Oh no. Nope. One over net. Well, one over par. So although this par three is only 150 yards, because the pin's right at the back, it's actually playing 155 to the pin. Yeah. I would have definitely hit 99 with a Mizuno. Okay. Which is crazy. And I'm actually starting to feel like I'm hitting one club more with a ping. Okay. Um, Look at the difference. I'm holding six in my hand. Are you? <laughs> right. You don't want to be too greedy on this pin, otherwise you might get the bunkers. The triangle middle at green. Stay there, stay there. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's gonna right. be all right, well, that. It comes back off that mound, you know. Yes, That's it a is. bit of a member's bounds area. Oh, oh event, uh, are we together? No. You're a little bit further left. No, I'm beginning of the green. Yeah. <laughs> I think it sounds like you're striking the mines really nice. Is it? But I think they're not going very far. No, they're not. They're Be giving very less distance. Because, What's the reason? Because, because they're designed with a bit more traditional lofting. Right. Because okay. the, the high the, the low handicaps that use these irons, yeah. they hit the ball harder than you. Right. So they okay. if they had power lofts, there'd yeah. be massive distances between each club. Right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm not getting the same distance as my Sim 2, Yeah. but uh, it's going straight. I think blades are better for sort of more powerful players. Right, okay, got the message. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. 
This is a big put in the match. This is the entire green. <laughs> you can't two put this. It's impossible. Is it? I shouldn't have said that. I okay, have let's try you. then. Oh yeah, it's difficult that. That's not easy. Seriously. No, it's not easy. It's, uh... Certainly chip not too bad. Today you've been chipping very, very well. No, there was no turning whatsoever. I thought I would definitely turn. Just finish it off? Yeah, if I can. Take your time, everyone counts, remember. No gimmies tonight. Well done. Next part again. <clears throat> right, well, if I'm, if I'm to have... You, you have to drop it in. If I'm to have any chance yeah. down the last, then this has to go in, I'm afraid. Yep. Yeah. At least we're still in it. Two shots. Are we having longest drive? Yeah. Okay. So 453 yards par four. Cross bunkers at around about 200 yards to heed. Okay. Which I don't think we're going to have any bother with. It's long par four. It is a very long par four. Okay, let's uh, target a par on this one. Well, <laughs> you I can't, hope you don't get, you can't get a par on here. You it's, can do it, I can't. It's That's stroke one. index free. You can do it, I can't, but uh, let's try. Oh, with that driver, definitely. That's all right. It's on. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to need a fairway bunker to save me here. If I've got any chance. Ooh. Hey, it went left. A little bit left. It's over the bunker, but it's all going to be depending. It's Looks like it's quite close to one of them trees. Yes, it is. Ooh. Ooh. Nearly disaster. He's got I'm a little in bit trouble. of a swing. He's got a little bit of a swing. Yeah, it's I'm in trouble. not ideal. What are you going to do? Hey, I'll do something. You told me something how to do. I'll try. Right, OK. I'll, play, I'll try to play a low trajectory shot. And if I can get out of this uh, Rough, just, just that'd be, be good just, just be careful you follow through, that's all yes, I'm Yes, I'm not gonna follow through, I'm gonna just stop. Yeah. Oh, well out. That's good. Is it a bit too much? No, no, that's solid. That's really opened the hole up for you, that. Okay, that's fine. Just caught the rough, it's pretty thick here, 169. I've got to use a little bit of loft, so I've got the nine iron. Hopefully, can carry this about 145 and it's gonna release. I talk a good game sometimes. So I'm gonna have to grip a little bit tighter on this one and aim a little bit right, just in case that club closes down a bit with the rough. Oh, that's come out well. Yeah. Missed that bunker. Ah! Sure. Oh, lucky you short. again. Just front at green. Yeah, you just avoided the bunker. Oh, it's lovely to hear. It's on the flag. I think he's. That's the punishment blow. That could be the blow <laughs> that secures it. <laughs> Not bad. Not quite enough. Sorry. Net par. Ooh. It's hit. There's a little bit left on that one to heed, I'm yeah. afraid. Yeah, I know. That was for the net par, weren't it? That was yeah, for the just four. right. 
Again, obviously, I thought it would definitely turn, but there wasn't enough One, turn at all. One, two out, three. Sorry, no, that was for par. You just saw it, and now yeah. it's a net par. All right, okay. Shall I finish? You can do, yeah. Ah. Ooh, five. No, 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 don't rush it. You could lose the whole match. Six for five. Okay. So you are finished net, net level par. Told you spoke too early this about is double for bogey. Net one over par. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You got the double bogey. <laughs> this is for a net one over. So I can't win, unfortunately. It looks like I'm buying the drinks to heed. Okay, I'm already tasting vanilla and coffee. Hit it. Ooh, well done. One over. One Not over. Not the worst nine holes in the world. I did actually birdie the second, so. Yes. Level. Congratulations to Heed. Well played. Another good match. Another good match. <laughs> Didn't quite have him tonight. I've not played my best with these new wines. I think you played fantastic. It, it was very steady, yeah. but I was expecting one or two more pars, frankly. I think in conclusion with the I-230s, there might be people watching this who's, you know, been looking to buy these irons. They are yeah. a sort of popular iron. Are they? Right, and there's okay. even people on tour using these irons. Are they? Right. So, okay. you know, that's enough evidence in itself to tell you that these irons have got all the aspects for you to get to scratch and well beyond scratch. You know, obviously, ball flight wise, I think it's been really good. Right. Spins felt really nice on the shorter range. You know, playing the yes, chips. Yes, it did. Oh, brilliant. Some good chips there. Yes. Feel wise, it's pretty soft to say that it's not a forged iron. Okay. Um, now, one thing I would say is, you know, talking about the lofts a little bit, I do believe the Mizuno are a little bit too strong. When I looked down at a 7 or an 8 iron in the Mizuno, it looked like a 7 iron looked like a 6 iron, a right, 6 iron looked okay. like a 5 iron. Right. It just, it made me lose a little bit. Are talking about the angle? Yeah, the angle. Right, yeah, it looked okay. too strong. Right, okay. Whereas, maybe I've gone a little bit weak in the lofts on these. I'm not quite sure yet, but maybe it's just that adapting. You know, right. it's maybe that adapting, because I've gone from such a powerful iron yeah. to something that's more traditional lofted. They feel quite weak now, and I think I'm just under clubbing a little bit. I don't want to sacrifice two clubs, right? But I'm happy to take one club less. But I'm I'm almost like these are one and a half clubs Is less. Because right. when I've been dropping one club, I've still been coming short. Right. So I think they need to just be lofted a little bit stronger. But what we'll do, we're going to do a, another video, another, yes, a Mizuno versus Ping to actually see what the real difference. I think is. that'll be a good one. I think it will. That'll be a good one, definitely. Um, and On top gonna... of that, is it a bit too early to judge, or just after seven? Well, it's only the first impression. Right. It's okay. only the first impression. One thing I am very impressed with is our. I feel comfortable with them already. I've not hit many great that's, shots, that's, but yeah. I feel like I am going to be okay with these. But they were pretty straight out of most of the shots. Yeah, yeah. they weren't too bad. No. They weren't too bad. I just feel more at home with them. Guys, we hope you've enjoyed this vlog today. That was my first ever round with my new ping irons. You know, I think it's quite obvious I'm not going to play my very best golf of them, but I've still yeah. played pretty much scratch golf, yeah, one over you par. Did. Just right. It's not a disaster. No, it's not. Um, and I've certainly enjoyed it as well. That's good. I've That's the main thing, I've isn't I've enjoyed it? pulling the clubs out, you know, and obviously <laughs> um, Great. there's definitely something a little bit more saucy about these that I'm enjoying already. One question may be very silly for me to ask. Is, yeah. is it... Uh, uh, what we call it? Uh, graphite. Graphite. No, I knew you were going to ask that question. <laughs> it looks very graphite, this shaft, but it's a yeah. bit like the the KBSC taper. Right. It's, okay. It looks graphite, but it's actually steel. Right. Okay. So it's a, a light steel shaft. It doesn't say anywhere steel, does it? No, but I'm I did ask asking. the same question myself, actually, when I was <laughs> getting the fitting. I it said, doesn't say it. graphite. He said, no, they're definitely steel. Yeah. Um, so what do you think? It feels quite good. Uh, and mid-size... Uh, grip as well which is yeah. same, same as mine so. i like the little bit thicker grip yeah 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 so there we are here we are well done thank you he did beat me actually i weren't <laughs> ex expecting you to play so well in a medal format it's all right sometimes it works doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> guys hope you've enjoyed that video we need a new challenge for tahid he's getting too comfortable off this 16 handicap he's actually starting to get a bit you know chirpy yeah. like james robinson so we need to <laughs> knock him down a little bit we need to get him off a lower handicap What's the, going to be the challenge? Is it going to be break 80? Is it going to be get to single figures? Tall order, man. Is Come it going on. to be get to scratch? No, no you start. <laughs> Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Get in the comments. What 
we need a new series for Tahid. We need to motivate him. He's getting a bit comfortable off this handicap. What we're going to do, and uh, we'll see you in a few days' time. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. You know what? It feels quite good, to be honest. Do you like it? Yeah. You think they're not blades, and they? I think I can play with them, man. Let me let me have a go next time. Yeah. 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 Of course. What do you like the feel? What how do you like? I like the feel? the feel. I like it's the same grip. I like the feel. It seems to be. What about when you look yeah. down at the head? Does it give yeah. you any confidence? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is seven. Yeah. And it looks cool. Very cool. You do realize? Do you think they're the similar lie as mine? Uh, these are one degree upright, so they will be. Yeah, because yeah, mine is one degree up. Because well. we did that to stop the slice. Remember when you first bought yeah. them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He measured me at two degrees upright. But you did a one degree. Because then. I already hit left, remember? So he okay. didn't want to make it that I hit too far left. Ah, right. So okay. we went one degree upright only. So I'm compensating a little bit with a lie. I'll, I'll, I'll play with this one next time. All right. With you do realise this bit's going to go in the video. Shush <laughs> <laughs> um, <Sure>, you. <laughs> are you going to beat me with these clubs? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted him to say yeah then. See you later, guys. Bye.